Hi uh, guys, another video. Um, what we're going to be doing here today is, uh, well, there, there's lots of videos out there about it. There's a lot of information uh, if you Google it uh, on how to measure this and probably it's just going to be another one of my videos. Uh, another another video for the same, but uh, for the people that is following my channel, I just hope one way or another these my can help you. Um, uh, you're going to see that uh, on the title of this video, I haven't put nothing about the maker or the car we are working on. Uh, although you can see now on the screen which car we're going to be working on. The reason I haven't put it is because this is actually um, applicable to other uh, makers, other cars that are fitted with the same type of sensor. Uh, anyway, so uh, this car came to me, as you can see, is a E46-328. Um, the car came to me with uh, no power. Uh, above 2,500 RPMs, the car would have no power at all. Uh, other than that, the car was fine. Started first, uh, first turn off the key, everything was fine. Uh, so, I've uh, scanned the car. And this is the code. Okay. So, it's going to go back. Okay, leave it there. So, this car is fitted with two sensors. There's two camshafts. This is one of the sensors. And this is the outlet or exhaust camshaft sensor. And behind the Venus actuator, right there at the back. I hope you can see it. Right there at the back is the... Right there. You can see the top of it, right there. So that is the inlet uh, camshaft position sensor, which is the one that is reporting that uh, error. So what we could do now is uh, we could just replace the sensor straight away, which probably would fix the problem. Actually, it will fix the problem. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to actually measure the sensor. So what we have here is um, an oscilloscope, uh, two channels, and uh, I've traced the wires back to the ECU. So in here we have these two yellow wires, that one and that one. This one is the exhaust camshaft, which is the good sensor. This one is the one that is reporting the code. So what we're going to do is we're going to connect the oscilloscope into these two signal wires and we're going to analyze the, the signal. Right, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to, I'm going to, I hope you can hear me with the engine running. I'm going to connect the, you have two lines in there, green and yellow the A channel and the B channel. I'm going to connect the good sensor into the channel A. So as you can see, it's pretty much a perfect square wave. Uh, There we go, so as you can see it's a perfect square wave. Now I'm going to connect the faulty sensor and look where the line is. That's what you have. I'm going to disconnect.
and connect. Now as you can see, you have no signal from this uh, inlet sensor. So what we're going to do now is we're going to replace the sensor. I have a new sensor already to be fitted. So we are going to replace the sensor and then we're going to have a look at these uh, signals again. Okay, so the, the sensor is now being replaced. There's a, a brand new sensor in there. Now we are going to clear the codes. Still in there. Make sure it's gone. That's it. Now we're gonna start the engine. Let's just ch check, make sure there's no codes. So there is. And now we're gonna measure the sensors again. Let's turn it on. Okay, so it's gonna connect the good sensor again. There it is, the square wave. Now on channel B, let's gonna connect the signal from the sensor we've just fitted. There it is. Two perfect square wave channels. Hope you can see it, and uh, and that's how you can check to make sure the ECU is actually reporting the correct codes. Um, if you have seen my last videos, um, you you've seen uh, a C4 that I've done uh, where the crankshaft sensor was actually uh, faulted but the code that the ECU was giving me uh, wouldn't tell me nothing about the, the sensor. Luckily I could see on live data that the sensor was not uh, reading. In this case you can't see on live data what the camshaft sensors are doing so this will be the way for you to check. Guys I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching.